All right, welcome back to Mafia 2, the Definitive Edition. Now we are on time well spent. Oh yeah, welcome back to my channel. Chapter 6 Time Well Spent. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station tents ran me out. The guy fingered me and they strung on Mama, telling them where I was staying. They had no idea who I was working for, and I wasn't about to come. Annie was able to get me a lawyer courtesy of the law school man. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. It could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew about any of my other activities. It would have been more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scalada. The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost course from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. And don't worry, all the lighting behind me, it's just my kitchen lights. Federal crime, thieves, murderers, child molesters, all of you, the worst and the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business or else. Right 
Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it. Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long. You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you, we will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too. I ain't got nothing on my hip to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. Punch you. my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would prefer dodging bullets in your face. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from John contacting a guy named Leo Galante, who was supposed to help me out. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Get out of here before you make me mad. Ah, 
to play for the guy. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. But that's gonna have to change. He ain't any shape to fight. Should be. Boys did knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah, I want to come in. This guy said I should contact you. He said maybe you could help me out. Fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. I saw how you handled that Mickers after O'Neill. I proved useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Herbie here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. Dude, I saw of you out there in the underwear. You're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. And you'll be under my protection. Yeah, who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. Guess you can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Today we're going to work on your counterpunch. Vito, I want you to hit that man. Try and bust that big jaw of yours. Pepper, you will avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that moment. Throw a punch at your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. And the boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, Cap. Footwork, Pep. Remember your footwork. Remember, good defense can win a fight. Every punch you take could be your last. Ah. Ah. It's good. Whoa! 
Would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change the plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Neil. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, and most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here, he, he, he ain't most guys, though. close did you get to Clemente? Actually, I never met him. I always don't believe that every time I see him, I look at Carino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Carino is still breathing. What was your deal? Uh, well, you know, we did a couple of jobs for him, and uh, Lucas said he'd bring us into the family for uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Albert. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh, so what is that, like more than usual? Yeah. Like five grand more than usual. You don't got to pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. Then you can handle, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are going to have a lot of explaining. Oh, jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Yeah, that's it. Winston's offering two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine. I take that bet. O'Neill's a fucking animal. Come on, give me another twenty. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Sam, how you doing? Yeah, that's it. How's old man Galante know so much about boxing? You never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize fighter back in the day. Damn good one, too. No shit. Yeah, heard he used to fight in bare knuckle matches before he went. Come on, give me another twist. Come on, Chris, how can I help you? Looking to go four miles, what you say? Buddy, I'm busy. Dry out. Facts. Over there. That's what he's in here for. He's one of the biggest bookies in Empire Bay. Hey, uh, you feel like sparring? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, that's it. All right, let's go. Okay, well, go easy on me, okay? I ain't a pro like you or Pepe. Keep it up. All right, let's do this. Come on, give me another point. Oh. Oh. Choice. Keep it up. Watch where you walk quite long. And if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked. You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? China, huh? Yeah, get him a step ladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these cheeks are quicker than bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. They'll never come in. All right. What am I supposed to do to him? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, you put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Get out. Show him what you mean.
Let's go, Skeletor. You're late for work. Yay. Hey, listen, Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scott. All right, come with me, Vito. What, are we going to train some more? Uh, sort of. You'll see. More, Mr. Galante. What, our training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before any big fight with the lead. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. The guy you're going to be fighting is a scrum bastard. He ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his gun rate. That's when you're going to have him. All right, here we go. Make me proud of you. Ooh, looky here. I'm going to take this skinny-ass white boy to school. You're going to hit him so hard as mama's mama going to feel. <laughs> Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Oh. Hey, Willow Willow's going to probably be the hardest ah. work this bum ever did in his life. Oh. Oh. Yo, now the cracker going down. Oh. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut. You ain't. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle charge? All right, come on, Stalata. You got a visit. What's the hold-up, Skalida? You want to see it, is it? Hi, Vivo. <laughs> hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well... I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would be nice if you asked my permission first, but hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. How'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just strong, right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito. No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not going to be for a while. All right, looks like I got to go. Uh, look, we'll take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Let's go, Stalata. Those fellas ain't gonna clean themselves. <laughs>
Let's see, motherfucker. All the way, motherfucker. So, you're the new cleaner, baby, eh? Follow me. Ooh. So that keep cleaning the reps. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. Scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. I picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Your choice. I'm not a bad right now. Why don't you go fuck your buttons instead? I'm ready, man. Go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. My God. So. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. 
instead of going through what it goes out through the wedding gift. Every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. I don't have it. Looks like the mix went up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe is. It was a lot more than a call. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. The cars won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beat, like a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill, I got a little business to settle. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! No guards, sister. Again, harder. Nice shot, Mary. Tomato. Just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate myself. Well, actually, it was more like a sweep. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Leo, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shit? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to working for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker. And you can bet that lawyer he was hired was just there to make sure you did it right. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's going to have a lot of explaining. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families need to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for you. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. The guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood, but his Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? Well, you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. 
You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? Well, listen to me, Bill. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, we'll see what we can do about adjusting this sentence. Pepe, come in. Have a taste. Chapter 7, In Love and Memory of Francisco, Francisco. Galante was a liar. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early, not for almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of film me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, uh, here. Always comes in here. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight. Yeah, yeah. I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot from the inside. I have a much better idea about things working. Good thing, because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, you know, I'll show you the ropes like always. All right, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You go to drive it so as you can get back into the swing of things. I just hope you don't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. I can all wait. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Damn it, it's good to have you home. I felt pretty good while you was locked up. But now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. You really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you I got a nice surprise for you. Don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. All right, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. 
I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you... This guy shows up soon. I've got a lot on my plate today, and the housing market is booming. Take away now. Hmm. 
Keeps. I thought you was going to be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when he was on your little vacation. I show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? We'll see you in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Here I have to go. Man, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah, this is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scott. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we had it, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's going to love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh... Funny business in the camp. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. You might as well tell him now. All right, let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, with help, you told him to go. Hey, toys, the best. Okay, so, Vito. What was the one thing you missed the most when you was in Cuba? Freedom. Yeah, well, what besides that? Uh, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you get close, <laughs> What, are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, you know. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. You know? Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something i got to take care of later. What's more important than pussy and boots? Uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Hey, Vito, come on. Step on it, eh? So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Leo. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clemente tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our reasons. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man. And, uh, oh no. Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's going to help me, so I got to help myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Scramble. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. You're ahead to a bright future together. Touching that. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlos, <laughs> he's into, uh, you know, astrology. You mean astronomy? Oh, fuck you, you fucking calm dumpster. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, it looks like I gotta go. Shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna use your mind. You fellas ready to go? Uh, yeah, let's go. 
Outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. Hurry it up, will you? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killer.
truck. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> God damn it, my shoes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, fucking Christ almighty. How long this had been in here, Eddie? Uh, just a couple of days. <laughs> just I'm thinking about it every day. Ah, oh, it's just great. I can't handle the smell. I'm fucking walking home, missus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hey, Martha. Hey, hey, here's the hole. Right here. Dumping me. Who's gonna bury him? What? Hey, give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a word for the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any oh, help me here. Whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music? You got it. Hopefully. Good night, sweetheart. Well. It's time to it's supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice out here, ain't it? I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Wow, hopefully I don't get a copyright strike on this. I can't shut off the radio. And this is why I don't play music. when I play video games.
Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, man. Eh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car here. Like, you know, if you're a good man, Vito, I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in with some drinks? It's three in the morning. Morning. Shut the hell up. Shut up. You whore. Now do I go? Chapter The Wild Ones. I think that's where we're gonna end.